All right, chat. Uh, I'm back again. Sorry if that took a little bit longer. Um, all right. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Oh my god, it's December first. Yes, it is. We're almost for one hour already. Hey, ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And wait, is that cute still there? It. She saved my life and yours, everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. Yeah. After seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Take care oh, yeah, there of it is. He's the reason. And that's pretty cool that it's actually still there. I like that. That they didn't just, Jail. you know, put that there for the, uh, for the, for the, for the cutscene. But it's actually still there. That's pretty cool. I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> that's my job. I was going to say that's probably why she's a, uh, running for Congress, I guess. See, si. te quiero. All right. Uh, all right. So we have to go to uh, over there. I could have known, by the way, as the cube is still there. I could have known, by the way, that he wouldn't die because, um, I mean, I knew that he was going to be, you know, you were going to be able to continue, you know, playing after you finish the game. So... If he would die, that would be kind of weird. Oh, yes. Miles just died. But you can still continue playing as him. Enjoy. You know, that would that would, that would would not work. That Miles is also worried for his mother since his father died in a similar situation. Yeah, that is actually something that has come up earlier in the game uh, a couple of times as well. Oh, it's Cat's Pajamas. Oh, that's actually made... Wait, that's, I think, a different mission. But we can do that after afterwards again. Oh, wait, his phone only has 1% battery left. Oh, boy. How are we gonna... Great news. How are we gonna Lock survive that? Labs in Manhattan are kaput. Kaput! So are their reactors. Finally. With the labs and Krieger gone, feels like Roxxon's button has been firmly kicked. Yeah, but how are they gonna be there for me now? You know, Roxxon is always there for me, but how are they gonna do that now? You said it, buddy. You said it, buddy. I'm glad we were able to do this together. Me too. Until our next adventure? Which will probably be five minutes from now, right? <laughs> Deal. Also, by the way, you still owe me a hot dog. Just saying. I mean, I don't want to be that guy, but, you know, just saying. You do owe me a hot dog still. You can keep playing as him in spirit. <laughs> yeah. I am sad, though. I'm sad that this adventure came to an end. Like I said in the start of the stream, I always get so... I always c connect so much with certain game characters. Um, you know, Spider-Man being obviously my favorite superhero, like, of all times. Um, and Miles, you know, I mean... I don't know. I, I just really connected to, to hey, his character, too. Um, so then I always get kind of sad whenever an adventure is over, you know? Even though, you know, I'm, we can replay it and we can play, like, a new game plus and all that kind of stuff. But it's not the same, you know? It's not the same. You're never gonna get that hot dog? Yeah, I feel... I feel that too. I feel that we're never gonna get that. I mean, look at the tubby. I mean, fatty. I mean, chubby. I screwed that up, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, Miles needs to keep his superhero body anyway, so he might not be... You know, hot dogs might not be a, uh, a good idea if he needs to... Uh, I mean, those suits are skin tight, you know? He, he, he needs to fit, fit into those, so if he can't... He got, can't gain any weight because then he won't be able to fit in suits anymore. Although I guess they are stretchy, so maybe a little bit of weight wouldn't mind. Watch it! And you know, I will definitely continue playing this game a little bit, um, you know, off stream to get some more photos, I guess. Too late to call the kid fat, there's no going back. Well, yeah, also that. Also that, but I figured, you know, let's just... Let's go, let's, let's skip the moment. <laughs> let's not make it any more awkward than it was.
Oh, wait, you know, it's funny. I, I just realized that, you know, seeing as we can, you know, recreate, um, or we can, you know, set the, the sun and like the height of the sun and the rotation of the sun, we could totally make a Manhattan Henge screenshot. That's actually pretty cool. I might need to look into like where exactly that normally takes place and then see if we can kind of make Manhattan Henge in the game, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see it in real life. I like it, 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 it happened like, I guess a month or like a couple of weeks after we were there, which was kind of a shame because otherwise I definitely would have wanted to uh, witness that. Um, I'm over it too at the moment. So this is where a situation where pots called kettle. Hey, me too. Like I'm, I'm kind of, you know, like knowing that i want to get into cosplay at some point is kind of like a massive motivation to lose some weight but even though i always i mean even though i have the motivation it's sometimes so hard to stick to you know stick to it if, if that makes sense especially now that i'm also dealing with some other stuff still like that i'm trying to get better from um like you know you can only deal with so many things at once you know All right, here we are. End apartment. Wait, why does he have to change? Like, they know he's Spider-Man, so he doesn't have to change, I'd say. Now I remember a weird dream I had. Um, and that was indeed... I was seeing my weight on a scale. I haven't weighed myself for a long time. Really need to sleep. Oh, wow. He changed his... Oh, he actually has his masks and his suit here. suits here. That's so cool. Oh, wait, he sews them himself? Oh, that's so funny. I like that. That's such a cool little detail. We, we can play the music that he made. Wait. Wait, we need to... Uh, can we... Uh... You know what? Actually, what I want to try... I want to try something. Let's turn off Miles. Because I kind of like... I kind of like this... Um... You know this 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 scene so let's see if we can just kind of make a cool screen from with within his his room you know i mean it doesn't always have to you know have the hero in it for it to be a nice screenshot um i think it might also totally work if he is actually not in it Let's see. Rotation. Can we see that make a difference outside? Wait, do those windows not actually allow sunlight in? Is that just... Uh... Wait, is that just the fake sunlight coming in? Because I think, you know, even though we uh, change the elevation and such, it doesn't do anything. Wait, is that fake light? Wouldn't be surprised necessarily, but still. Okay, wait. So if we want to make this like an actual... Um... As if, you know, this is actually really here i think we need to put the lights on the back which is kind of annoying because obviously you don't want it to be here per se because then you don't see your subject so i'm guessing we are going to go for a spotlight this time and we're going to add that in the corner where we are wait two screens look exactly the same even the post-its are on the same location wait Two screens look exactly the same, even the post-its are on the same location. Oh, it's feet, not post-it. Wait, which feet? Wait, what, what am I missing? Suspension of disbelief. Wait, what, what am I missing? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, well, let's set this to white so we just have, you know, a natural color. Um, I don't think the intense... Wait, we can make the softness, like, a lot. I don't think it, need, it doesn't need to be harsh. It just needs to be very soft. And the spread can also be like this. Um, and then the intensity might be a little bit less. Like that. And then I'm thinking of adding another, maybe, like, a sphere light after all. Uh, but then, you know, like, super close to this, uh, to his desk. So we can kind of illuminate some things over there. Um, also setting it to white. And then, like, lower the intensity by a lot. If that's gonna work. I'm not sure if that, if that will work, but, um, let's see. 
Yeah, like this. So now at least you get to see, you know, what he's working on. But I think I, I think if we turn this off, see, you don't get to see anything. So that's why I figured um, this would make a nice little extra light so we can actually see, you know, what he's what he's working on. Because I think otherwise we need to increase the intensity for this one. Otherwise it doesn't work. But then in that corner over there, it's... Uh, wait, maybe if we lower the spread. I don't like that corner in like the, the left corner over there is so washed out. I don't like that. That's kind of my that's kind of my own downside the my own issue with this. And I don't think Oh wait, the softness actually makes that better. I don't know why, but the game didn't make it softer. Even though it should. Okay, so now we can actually do with just this particular light. That's kind of nice. No gaming chair equals no gamer. Oh crap, I also don't have a gaming chair. I just have a IKEA chair. I was thinking on the, the screens that was a poster, but it are the feet of the screens. Oh yeah, I see your point. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, Are his windows wide open? No, I don't think so. Nobody's gonna notice what he does in his home. Oh, with with those... Oh, with, the, with no blinds? Yeah, I yeah, got it. Noted also, Miles is no gamer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, I also have a regular chair. Not gonna lie. I mean, you guys can't see it, I guess. Can you see? That's no gamer chair. I wish I had a gamer chair, though. But, you know. I, I, I want to get... Like, ideally, I would love to get, like, an, a Logitech and body chair. Because they are just too awesome. Um, But, you know, those are also, like, hella expensive. Okay, wait. Maybe we can see if this would also be a fun... Oh yeah, like this. Oh, wait, that's so funny. That's so funny. Um, and again, we do need one light uh, above him, I guess, like all above, so we can illuminate that a little bit, so his background is not as dark. Um, set it to white, and then set the intensity way lower. I mean, you know, people might be like, whoa, he's got a massively awesome phone camera. And yeah, it's true. He does. I need one. You, you, uh, like a gamer chair or a Logitech and body chair? Or both? Okay, we can't do anything there. Oh man, I would love it if I would get into cosplay. I would actually get, you know, one of these mannequins as well and just put my suit on there too. And then if we ever get like a, a, a house, if we ever buy a house, um, then I would put my suits in the background. That would be so cool. Well, uh, TV is gone, but never forgotten. I'm happy with my speed seat, uh, which I did bring home after a camping trip where, where I hired it. Wait, did you actually buy it or did you just take it and they never asked it back? Or what, like, how should I, how should I read into this? Gaming chair might invest even over 200 US to it. Less than 200 if it's in discount and normally over 200 chair. But then don't get the embody because I think the embody is 1300. Just a quick... Just a quickie. Just a quickie. Oh wow, he snores, chat. Okay. By the way, those shooters, I might buy them myself. I might buy those shoes myself next Friday when they go on sale. Just saying. Just saying. Bowser! How are you doing, buddy? How's this game worth getting a PS5 for? Yes. But also, if you got a PS4, you can totally get it on that. I, I'm playing it on PS4. I'm, I don't have a PS5 myself. How are you doing, Bowser? But the game is awesome. We actually just finished the last mission and we're now doing some kind of, you know, random things that we can just do, um, you know, like after after finishing the main storyline. So I guess you, if you don't want to get spoiled, I guess you are coming in at a good time because, you know, there's not really a lot of spoilers anymore. Um, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm super, super biased because I'm a massive fan of, of Spider-Man. So, um, you know. Yeah. I don't want to get spoilers, so it's a good time to come in. I mean, I'm not going to guarantee there won't be any spoilers. I mean, maybe they will say something about spoil, you know, about things that might be spoilers. I don't know. Just saying, um, you know, just putting it out there as a disclaimer. But we just finished 
the main storyline. So, like, in that sense, you won't get spoilers. I was 4-1. Yeah. Get the ultimate edition then of this game. Only that comes with Spider-Man Remastered. Yeah. Absolutely. But if you got a PlayStation 4, you can totally get it now. And then upgrade later if you want to get a PlayStation 5. Uh, happy birthday. Ready for the best scavenger hunt ever. Here's the first clue. Facing the park with the world on our shoulders, we got the next clue. Oh, it's a scavenger hunt. Isn't the full game's length? I mean, it depends. See what mom put together. Um, I mean, I, I like to take my time in games. I think I spent two weeks on this. Like, two weeks worth of streams. Get out of here. Um, Check out the Natural History Museum. So you can, you know, it's all about how much time you take and how much time you spend doing things. Like, if you want to, if you are like me and you want to explore every nook and cranny, do every side mission and all that kind of stuff, I think you can easily crank out eight to ten hours. Scavenger hunt's not going to hunt itself. But again, you know, I mean, it all depends on how you play. City Councilwoman, Rio Morales. That's a nice ring to it. I mean, let's, I'm, I'm kind of curious now. Let's have a look at my second YouTube channel. Um, because I got a playlist up there with, you know, the entire playthrough of the game. And I cut only the gameplay part. So all my, you know, yeah, BRB moments harder. and such, I cut them out. Let's see if I can see how long that playlist is in terms, in terms of time. Um, oh, I can't see that. I thought I would be able to see that, like how long it is. All right, well, apparently I cannot. But I'm guessing overall, three hours, three, six, two and a half. Well, let's say nine, three, 18, 21. I think I spent 21 hours looking at, at you know, my, my videos of the game. I spent 21 hours on it so far. Including, of course, photo mode. So, you know, me taking the time to, to take photos. Um, but still, you know, 20 hours. Yeah. Let's say, let's say 15, you know, let's say I took, which I don't think I did, but let's say I took six hours in photo mode. Um, not including this video, this stream, which is now five hours long. So, yeah, you can totally finish it in, like, um... You know, six, seven hours, I guess. But if you like to do every little thing and, you know, explore every every single thing, then I think you can definitely... Uh... Oh, look at that. They got a Linksys modem. Wait, is that a Linksys modem? It totally is. Like, you know, it, well, it doesn't say Linksys, but it's definitely like one of those default uh, Linksys modems. That's so funny. Uh, I'll quickly look for an official verdict from Spider-Man. Oh, the toilet paper is pointing the right way. Spider-Man is about 12 hours game normally. Wait, how wait, how long did how do, long do they do they say it is on how long the beat? Uh how long the beat? Kind of curious now. Miles. Oh wait, Miles Morales. Oh, I just saw it's on the main page. Miles Morales, according to how long the beat is Um 7 hours, main story, main plus extra, 11 and a half. Completion is 16. Wow, and I did it in 21. Wow, either I'm slow or. I just like to take my time. I still call it a router because modem is cable for me. Wait, does toilet paper face the right way? Yeah, it does. Nice. The WRT 45G, 54G. Oh, you actually know the one. All right. Well, let's. Um. But his suit was still inside. Does he have multiple? I guess he does. I haven't been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. And we all know how that went. Those trips are really fun. It's weird to think about now. Oh, man, that's great. I love that. I mean, I love that. Wait. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider-Man. See you soon. Wait, do we have to go? That's great, man. Love that guy. <laughs> oh, wait, is that this mission? Yeah. I take 30 hours. Oh, should I turn on my Spider-Man to say how long I've played? You can't see that. I hate that. I, I love how in Steam, for instance, you can see how long you've played a game. Hey, good to see you. But I don't think you can see that on PlayStation. How you save Spider-Man. Hey, kitty. I'm a kitty, kitty, kitty. I'm a cat. Ready to swing, Spider-Cat? Oh, wait. You two look great. 
And we actually just got this suit now. And this is the only mission. That's funny. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. All right. That's so cute. That's so cute. Hi, my kitty. Hey, Miles. I'm catching up on... Yikes. Kind of a backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest for the Spider-Man? Nope. Speaking of which... Wait, did he uh, keep this card selected? No, he did not. Not gonna be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? I need to find a job. Oh. Freelancing with the Bugle was great, but I'd like something steady. Have you thought about teaching? You're pretty good at it. <laughs> Honestly, no. <laughs> no. No. I'll think about it. Call you soon. Okay, bye. I mean, maybe he's got to fight another villain, you know? Who knows? Okay, but now at least, you know, the game kind of clears out that we won't be able to play with um, Peter or won't see him anymore in the game. As much as we want to, as much as I would love to, uh, I don't think we get to. I mean, I'm kind of worried for this cat. Like, how does he not fall out? Okay. Natural History Museum. Who on the postcard said, base in the park, with the world on our shoulders. Here we go. Guard the next clue. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, rocks on another postcard over here. Yeah. Wait, how long has that been there? Ooh, look at that. What is that? Empire State Building? High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes and a USB drive. This one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State. You'll find a pair of blind eyes. Okay. And he puts it down. He doesn't take it with him. Big man. Happy birthday. Oh my god. Dad. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn for. You got a good grip on the backpack, those claws and sure he don't go nowhere. Yeah. I know those tricks. I guess that's true. I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. With your Wait, where's the Empire State being? I totally am not swinging in the right direction. There we go. But I would have never made it to 18 then. Anytime I'd see you again, I'd feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. With Finn, now Genki, we'll always have family. Love you lots, good man. Love I'll you lots! Wow. I haven't heard his voice in so long. That's funny. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find I've my played Animal Crossing late yeah. at night, by the way. Um, not well, this late clue. at night. Like, Just not at, uh, you know, it's like, that. uh... Did you do all this? Um... Just the setup. 114. Last year. I know it's Favorite point of hour track would be 2 a.m. one. I think I've, I have heard that in, like, um... Gracias, videos. Benaya. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. Tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. Um, I, I saw this video on, on Twitter once with, indeed, I think that track, I think it was at like um, 2 or 3 a.m. Uh, uh, and, you know, it was just someone sitting outside on a bench and you just heard, you know, the, the sound of the wind a little bit in the game. And then, indeed, this, this, chill, uh, this chill song. Yeah, I, I think I remember that. Which I remember at the time being like, oh man, this is such a chill vibe. You know, you heard, you know, the sound of the wind and, um, you know, leaves blowing and all that kind of stuff. Also, by the way, how did she get those postcards up there? Like, she's not Spider-Man, is she? Do, do we have, does she, is she going to tell us something? That she might be Spider-Gwen or something? All right, high atop the Empire State. That's where we are. Empire State Building. Let's check the clue. High atop the Empire State. You'll find a pair of blind eyes. <laughs> Meow. Oh, wait. We got people here. Hello. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could be here. Oh, 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 dude. This guy. <laughs> he fell over like that. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could actually be here. That's so cool. Look at this view, chat. <gasps> Look at that view. View of my favorite city in the whole world. Even from up top, it looks beautiful. 
Ah, man. We, we spent, like, hours on top of the Rockefeller Center when we were there. I think we... Because you, you, when you go to the top of the rock, uh, you could actually buy tickets for Sunset. But those were a lot more expensive. So what we did is we actually took, like, 10 minutes before the Sunset time would start. And you can basically stay on there as long as you want. So we kind of, we, you know, we kind of cheated the system, I guess. Um, getting tickets like 10 minutes before the sunset time would start. And then we would just went, stayed there the entire evening. Um, still enjoying, you know, the sunset, but not paying for it, I guess. Okay, so where are those blind, blind eyes? Maybe the clues about the binoculars on the observation platform. Oh, wait, that actually makes sense. Thanks for spoiling it for me, by the way. But yeah, I guess that does make sense. All right. You got something? Nope. You have something? Nope. You? No. Nope. You? No. Nope. Hello? Anyone seen any postcards? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have quite bad fear of heights, by the way. My hands are starting to sweat already, kind of. Honestly, I mean, I don't like heights either. What if we buy the costumes and a third Spider-Man shows up? What? That doesn't work. Uh, but on top of you know on top of this build on these buildings i had no issue with that like you just look forward and see the news yeah. new york has two spider-man yeah spider-man yeah wait can't spider-man uh oh look at that out of order martin art museum in greenwich i remember that place find the fossil hiding among the modern don't forget to look up find the fossil hiding among the modern don't forget to look up hmm hmm Fifth grade field trip. Empire State. I shot. Okay, so wait, now that maybe makes sense how she was able to put the, those cards on there because, um. Never agree. I mean. A bus full of ten year olds, son. It took us three hours to get here. And when we did, who showed up? She, she le le left it on the uh, observation deck, so she didn't actually climb up. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. The thing I remember most, though, you wanted to stay. Told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that fighting spirit. See you at the next trip. Uh huh. That's nice. Born hero. I think I learned to be a hero from watching Dad. Well, if only his father knew. Especially. I guess. Hey, the app says a donation stand's being robbed. Okay. Well, no time. I, I'm looking for postcards. Way more important than you know solving crimes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hey y'all, it has been a good week for Hey y'all. Spider-Man stop the tinkerer. Real Morales was elected to city. Hey girl, hi. Hey. Is closed for good and Simon Okay. Here's the Modern Art Museum. Okay, I kind of want to see what uh, happens at Rockstar now. Okay, Don't fossil. Forget Don't forget to look up. Okay, so we are looking for a fossil. Hey. Doesn't the museum keep a fossil on the balcony facing the river? Worth a look. Oh yeah, it does. Please do not touch. Oh wait, see, this is a modern one. Okay, so we're looking up. Nope, nope. Nothing on the ceiling. Oh wait, is that it? Next clue. There we go. Mm. Looks like I'm going to CODBs. CODBs? Wait, a nightclub? Where money is king, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. Hanging among the lights. All right. Um, all right. Let me quickly uh, do this. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. I had to practically drag you and Finn to the Modern Art Museum the first time, okay? Oh, why? What do we care about? Uh, wait, where did we, where did we go? I didn't actually pay attention. Where was that night club? Oh, all the way down here in the financial district. When I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, Dave's trained up and all, I knew you guys. Here you got it. Orange. Don't think you ever realized you're going to look at You like royalty. Proud of you making it this far. Let's see how you do it the next time. Oh. 
Finn and I talked about that trip for months. I do love though how they add this kind of, you know, add some kind of extra thing after you finish the game. That's really nice. Like you could have just said like, well, you finished the game. Good, good job. Now you can swing around, change the time of day and replay missions if you want to. Enjoy, you know, but they actually added something nice afterwards. So at least it doesn't, doesn't feel like, well, I just finished the game. I mean, because that's always also kind of the thing, I guess, you know, when you finish a game like this, it just suddenly feels, you know, like, okay, now it's over, you know? You finish the game, you turn off your PS4 and that's it, you know, it's over. But now you kind of, you finish the game and you kind of get to, um, I don't know, lose that adrenaline of, you know, your final boss battle a little bit more. If that makes sense. Even though it's, you know, a small thing, like, you know, finding eight postcards, not really the most, uh, you know, elaborate thing hey, to do, but still. Yeah, again, no time. All oh, right, here it is. I love that ki kitty. Wait, how do we get it? I mean, I see it, but I can't get it. Let's hunt. Yeah, I found it, but I can't climb through this. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. Let's climb down then. Okay, I'm here. How do I get it? There we go. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, I hate these kind of bugs. Even upside down, the cat does not fall out. Well, like, you know, I think... Wait, was it Bowser? I think like Bowser said earlier, you know. Claws keeping him attached. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant. Stuyvesant? Wait, is that how you pronounce that? Stuyvesant? I always thought it was Stuyvesant. Because it's kind of a Dutch word as well. If I owned a cat, me, I, I haven't. Um, uh, okay, next one. Betstow! Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me to soften the blow. But it poisoned the place for me. Never took it here because of it. Huh. I regret that. You can love it. Just like I so, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything, my true. Come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Lars. Oh, that's... gonna bring me to a show. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's kind of sad. Need a minute after hearing that. Yeah, that's kind of sad. But he did not like hanging upside down. He wasn't spider cat, duh. <laughs> I so I know how firm they can be. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth. Oh yeah, absolute pride integrity. on truth, yeah. Jameson is all about the truth and integrity. Since the disaster on Braithwaite Bridge. For good reason. Oh yeah. The kid screwed things up so bad, even the original model would have flushed redder than his costume. The classic one, not that ugly. Oh. But today, I must also that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him uh, a hero. <laughs> uh, with an unstable energy source on the verge of whitening. Lobster Bills, holy ground for dad. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, lives a monster of a good meal. Pretty sure I know which monster he means. Oh wait, there it is, there it is. Uh, but how do we get it? I would love some pizza. Yeah, give me. Well, here's the clue. Sheesh. Mom went all in if she climbed up here herself. There we go. You know this place. The art space on the Upper East Side. El Barrio. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Hmm. Which one is this? Clue. Home away from home. 
Six of eight. All right, so two more to go. Uh, what was it? Upper east side? It reminded me of the Graham's kitchen down south. Took your mom here on our first game. Just about every date after that. Even once when she was pregnant with you. And she went into labor right now. I blame the Cajun shrimp. Cajun shrimp? She was less of a fan after that. But I'm not gonna lie, son. Some of those nights working late? Oh, yeah. I'm stopping in for some fried over. Okay. It was funny, you know, when we were there, we also Tom went, of course, to, uh, um, you know, Bedford Stuyvesant. And you could definitely tell that, you know, that part of the city was less, um, you know, less developed and also less wealthy, I guess. Like, it was such a sharp, um, contrast, you know, from, like, all the neon lights of, you know, Times Square, the financial district, you know, all the glass and everything. And then you come over there in that part of the city, um... Which, you know, it was still Manhattan, and it's still, you know, it's still the same city, obviously, but you come there and you notice, like, you know, you, a lot of brick buildings, a lot of old buildings, lots of, um, you know, like, um, well, also high-rise, but like, I don't know, like, cheaper high-rise, I guess. I don't know, I thought it was kind of interesting how you, uh, how there can be such a sharp contrast in one city. Nice to 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 the city, yeah. It definitely is. Wait, Roxon people are trading shots nearby, but we took care of Roxon. The true Manhattan instead of the tourist street. I mean, it's funny. Like, like these places, I haven't seen them when I was playing the main game, so that's kind of nice how they are taking you through, um, you know, some places that normally you would not really notice when you play the game. Hey! Look at our magnificent wealth and beauty. All the lights and people who live here, but don't look that way. Poor people live there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Harlem was also like a sharp contrast, I guess, from the rest of the city. But at least, you know, Harlem had, you know, character and, um, you know, still, still some cool, cool, cool places. There's the art space. Okay. Loretta enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Wait, a, a post box. Next clue. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was an easy one. CJ Walker Park. I know this place up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Oh, I thought I, I Man. Not ready for this to be over. I honestly thought it was this was going to be a a rhyme. Beneath school, the hoop where I learned you to fly. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Hi. Your mom and I was so proud. Our son. Um, let's see this way. Almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. I know it made you sad. Both of you go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One clue left. That you can't wait to get to the end. What's going on? Finn and I did find each oh wait, the game had to load? That's the first time I the game had to load up. a moment or a, a, you know, something. Also, where's the... Uh, oh wait, I'm right here. Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen here, but th because this was the first time that the game had to load a neighborhood. Miles, I did it! I figured it out! What? How to safely split an atom from the comfort of your own home? That's next on my to-do list. No, speed nonagon! Collision model is updated, projectile physics is fixed, oh. frame rate stabilized. It's awesome now. Which means I can play it? Uh, it still needs textures. Oh. Sound effects, music, yo. I'll write the music. I could probably do sound effects too. First we improve and design our own spider suit. Now we build a mobile game empire? Empire. We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm not doing spider things. When I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking out sound effects you'll need. Ooh, and sketching out a score. Wait, how, is this going to be even more stuff we can do? Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude. Oh, wait, I really hope we can actually do more. Like, it's not going to happen now, but like, it would be funny. Why would he say that? Like, after we finish the game? This is it. 
Why would you say, you know, that there would be more to do? Where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Oh, wait, is this the hoop where we learn to fly? Is that that thing? No, that would be weird. My headset? I don't have a headset. Not now. Sometimes I do, but not now. Here we go. Oh, wait. Here it is. Man. So many memories. And so we come to the end. CJ Walker. Oh, wait. Another flashback? All here in the summers. Your uncle showed wait. you how to take it to the rack. Oh, there we go. Well, I demonstrated how to pull it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley you to your mom. This place reminds me that as crazy as life gets, only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. Huh. That's nice. That's really nice. I like that. Oh, man. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Congratulations, you made it to the end. The other reason that I'm brave. Love that. Hey, Miles. Trophy. Hey, Mom. I just finished the scavenger hunt. Thank you so much for putting it together. For a little while... Like oh, a new home? Wait, what, what would that be? She never left me. I love you. I love you, Mom. Okay, so I I guess that's it. Um, I guess that's all we can do. I do want to go back to my home, though. I'm very curious. Because I was supposed to set up a task board for Genki's game. Um, so I will see if I actually am going to do that and if that's going to unlock more things. Don't think it will. I think that was just a, uh, well, stupid as it may be. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think that was just a, um, you know, something that he says. But it would be funny if, you know, you can kind of get some things done. But honestly, I really doubt it. Meow, because I don't think, I, I don't think, even think I can go inside. Oh, wait, maybe I can. Hang on. Where's my, uh, where's that balcony where I put my backpack on? Oh, wait, I think that's... Yeah, it's over there. There we go. Can I put my backpack here? No. So I can't go inside, I guess. Um. Like, I think... I Wait, can we see inside? Can we see my, my room? Wait, was it on the second floor? Or the third floor, maybe? Is that it? No. I think it's one of these, but, you know, it clearly it's not... Clearly, this is not actually my apartment. If you look inside. Which is kind of lame. That's kind of lame, though. Like, why couldn't they have actually made, like, one room that would be my apartment? That's a good one. Bumming the ride by being invisible. With great power comes great benefits. Even though he's got an unlimited... You know, unlimited ticket. All right, well, I guess that's it. I guess that's it, chat. We're going to save the game. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad that I didn't get to spoil anything for Bowser, so that's good. If you're still here, um, I'm glad that at least, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't necessarily spoil anything for you. And look at the cat. Oh, look at that little tongue. That's so funny. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. Maybe we can take uh, one last good screenshot on this one. With the cat sticking out, uh, sticking out his tongue. I throw the disc in the trash. Let's buy a new game. No, we're not going to do that. I'm kind of sad that we didn't get to play, um... That in the end, I didn't get to play uh, um, Planet Zoo, but well, later. Later. I think next Wednesday, I, I think I'm going to start with Night in the Woods first, because I really want to play that game too, and I'm hoping that I can finish that um, before... Um, what's it called? Before Cyberpunk uh, releases the week after. So I guess we've got a week for Night in the Woods. And Planet Zoo, I, we, I will still play that. I will start, you know, I will finish the uh, the tutorials off stream. Um, and, you know, like Cyberpunk, I think it's going to be a big game. But I think, you know, P uh, Planet Zoo is definitely a good game for like a Variety Friday. So like l lots of Friday games, lo like lots of Fridays, I like to do Variety Friday. Um, where, you know, I kind of 
play a random variety game that is not necessarily scheduled. Um, and I think Planet Zoo is definitely a good contender for that. And I think, you know, what I also like is I think Planet Zoo is a perfect just chatting game. Because, you know, sometimes I play games with storylines and I can't really do a lot of chatting because, um, you know, you got cutscenes and you got people talking in the game and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think Planet Zoo is actually one of the maybe, you know, maybe a perfect game to, you know, hang out with you guys while playing a game because I can just play and I can just focus on chat a little bit more. So that's actually good. I really like that.